To crop an image in Photoshop, simply open it from your computer and then choose the Crop tool. This is the fifth one down on the toolbar on the left. You can also access it by using the C key on the keyboard. There are different options for cropping. You can crop unconstrained by simply dragging over the area that you want. But it's advisable if working with a photograph to choose the original ratio. This means that when you drag you get the original ratio of the photo. If you drag upwards you can also get the vertical equivalent of the same ratio. Dragging from a corner allows you to rotate and maintain the same crop. To undo the crop and reset, press escape at any time or click on the cancel button at the top. Then you can start your crop again. In this example I might wish to exclude the dog on the left, so I could crop to here. I can then press return on the keyboard or click the tick icon at the top of the interface to confirm. If I want to undo, I can undo as normal by going to edit undo crop or by stepping back one in the history. Photoshop also gives you the option to delete the cropped pixels or maintain them so that you can go back and change the crop later. If I crop without deleting the pixels, then I can go to the move tool and I still have the original data within that layer. You may of course also wish to crop for effect, in which case you would use the unconstrained setting. For example, if you are creating a web banner, then you can simply save your file as normal.